Many people watching this video have already watched my tutorial on prolepin's table, so you know that here at SSPT we have a big poster size of prolepin's table hanging on the wall, which I'm showing you right now. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with prolepin's table or in my previous video, I would strongly encourage you to go ahead and watch that video first um, and then come back to this one. After 17 years of competitive powerlifting experience training hundreds of athletes, the general population, and powerlifters from novice to elite, I decided to apply my knowledge, my personal experience, and empirical evidence to create a similar table for the deadlift. So I went ahead and created what we like to call SSPT's deadlift table. It's based upon my belief that when training for max effort, 1RM strength in the deadlift, it makes a lot more sense to perform singles than it does multiple reps. That being said, there's a lot of people watching this video who can easily refute that claim based on the fact that there's many successful and world record holding powerlifters who train the deadlift using multiple reps. And while that indeed is true, we all know that there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one, than one way to get strong. If there were only one way to get strong, we'd all be doing it. But I believe performing only singles is the most efficient way of training the deadlift for max effort strength. So if your goal is muscle hypertrophy or endurance, then obviously only doing singles in the deadlift is not the way to go. You're gonna to need to uh, do additional reps if um, hypertrophy or endurance is one of your primary goals. The main reason that I believe singles are preferable to multiple reps in the deadlift is because when doing a max single in the deadlift, uh, just like we do in powerlifting competition, we aren't really afforded the opportunity to use the stretch reflex, the rebound effect, or, or generate momentum, or whatever else you want to call it. Because the bar is resting on the floor, and we're required to lift the bar rather than lower it first, like we do in the squat and the bench, there's no eccentric component to this lift. It's a concentric only lift. That's why it's called a dead lift, and is arguably the greatest test of total body strength because we don't get to use momentum to lift the bar. So when you do more than a one rep in the deadlift, the second rep is most often easier than the first one. And it's not because your body's in a better position after the first rep, but it's because of your ability to use that stored elastic energy from lowering the bar to the floor before the next rep. You know, this is exactly what happens when you squat down during the squat or when you lower the bar to your chest in the bench press. Your body takes advantage of the lowering phase, the eccentric component, and during that phase, you're building tension, you're getting a feel for how heavy the weight is, and you're utilizing that stretch reflex to generate explosive power for the concentric component or the upward phase. How many times have you seen somebody do a heavy single in the deadlift, they really struggle to lift the weight, and then they lower it to the floor, they do a touch and go, and the second rep is almost always easier than the first rep. Even if they've let the bar come to a complete stop, the second rep is almost always easier than the first one because they're able to generate momentum and use some of that stored elastic energy. Sometimes they can even bang out another rep and hit a triple. There's an old saying in the deadlift that goes something like this. It says, you know, if you can hit it for a single, you can probably double it. And that's great, but what's the point for a power lifter or for somebody training for max effort strength. We're never required to do more than one rep in competition. So doing multiple reps, you know, is really only serving to inflate your ego. And that's, that's all fine and dandy, but nobody cares what your best double or triple was in training. The only weight that ever matters is the one that you make in competition, and that's always a single. Uh, I don't really buy into the notion that creating additional muscle tension with repetitions is beneficial for the deadlift. If that were the case, we should all be doing high repetitions in all of our lifts, and we, and we know that that's, that's not most beneficial for any of these lifts. When you're doing reps in the deadlift, bar speed and velocity is always gonna decrease as the set continues. So let's say you do a set of five at 80%. You only have one chance to practice your approach and your setup. But if I go ahead and do 80% and hit it for five singles, I've done the same amount of work and my repetition quality has increased tremendously because I've given myself five chances to practice and perfect my setup. I've also reduced the risk of injury by not being under tension longer and thus allowing my, my form to get sloppy and my technique to break. The only time 
that we ever perform multiple repetitions in competition style deadlifts is on our warm up sets. And even then, we usually just drop the bar, step away, reset, and do another rep. So if I'm doing a triple at 70% as a warm up, I'll usually hit a single, drop the bar, reset, and immediately do another. There's probably less than 10 seconds between repetitions, and the set really becomes more like a cluster set of singles. But once we get to our heaviest weight of the day, or our work sets, it's all singles all the time. So once again, well there are many people that have had a lot of success performing multiple repetitions on their work sets in the deadlift, I would invite and encourage them to try only doing singles for a while, and I think what they're gonna find is their technique is gonna be enhanced, they're gonna generate more explosive power, and ultimately they're gonna end up with a bigger, heavier deadlift, and that quite frankly is what we're all after. So one more thing before I briefly explain the table, is that if you're currently having success using multiple reps in your deadlift training, then by all means keep doing them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't change your training plan just because you want to try something new. Keep using that method until it stops working and then you have a reason to make a change. Okay, so onto the table. This table is gonna look strikingly similar to Perleppin's table, except I've added one extra column. But we've got our percent column, our reps per set, range, optimal total, and rest intervals, okay? Because we're only doing singles all the time, I've included some rest intervals that I think are appropriate, and again, these are based upon my personal experience, the athletes and lifters that I've trained, and the empirical evidence based upon all of that. So, we've created a range, an optimal total. When you're below 70%, the weight is going to be easy, things are going to be moving fast and explosively, but anything more than 20 singles and you're really just going to start grinding the gears, so to speak. That is a lot of singles. I mean, imagine even doing four sets of five to get 20 reps. That's a lot of work. So again, that's why I set the optimal total at 15. I will rarely ever do more than 15 singles regardless of what the bar weight is. Um, Again, home base for us, this is the secret, so listen carefully, it's right in this range, right in here. We spend the bulk of our time between 80 and 89%, probably hovering around 80 to 85, again, singles, and we do between 5 and 10 per workout, with an optimal total being around 8. The rest period is 60 to 90 seconds. Use a timer, folks. Don't glance up at the watch. Don't think you've rested 60 to 90 seconds. Go ahead and get a, a timer, a digital watch. Many of you have got iPhones. Use that and time yourself. 60 to 90 seconds is plenty. Um, 90 seconds probably as you're getting closer in the, in the upper 80s. But it's enough time for you to drop the bar, grab a quick drink, clear your mind, chalk your hands, reset, and get ready to go again. Once you get up to 90% and above, take as long as necessary. Because again, 90% and above are kind of like meet attempts at a competition. And oftentimes in competition, depending upon the size of your flight, you're gonna have possibly up to 10 minutes rest in between. So again, I think doing singles all the time on your work sets is definitely the best way to go. Give it a shot. We'd love to hear your feedback. And as always, you can check us out on the web at supremesportspt.com or on YouTube or on Facebook. Keep working hard and happy deadlifting. Thank you for watching.